Now, in the one of the topics previously which we have covered, we have categorized the system as having a memoryless system, causal system, stable system, linear system, time invariant system, depending upon the input and output relationship. Now, it is the time wherein you categorize the system depending upon the impulse response. Now, if, I, if a system is said to be memoryless, if its impulse response satisfies this condition, H of n must be 0 for n not equal to 0 for a discrete case. And for a continuous case, H of t must be 0 for t not equal to 0. Right? If these two conditions are satisfied, then the system is called memoryless system. What do you mean by this is, H of n is 0 for n not equal to 0. So if you have H of n plot here, H of n must be 0 for n not equal to 0. n is equal to 0, it, it will have some value. Say for example 1. For n not equal to 0 means what? All the negative values still minus infinity, all the positive values still plus infinity. If, if there is no sample to the left of n is equal to 0, to the right of n is equal to 0, then it is called memoryless system. And in case of disc, uh, continuous time also, if h of t is equal to 0 for t not equal to 0, then it is called a memoryless system. Now, when input-output relationship is given, when do we say that it is a memoryless system? When do we say that uh, uh, system is having memory? When output at one any instant depends upon input at the previous instant or the past instant, then it is said to be the system is said to be having memory. So it is said to be memoryless when output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant. So then it is said to be memoryless system. That is when input output relationship is given. But the topic which we are discussing is depending upon the impulse response. So if h of n is having its value only at n is equal to 0 or if h of t is having value only at t is equal to 0, then the system is said to be memoryless. Now the causal system is, a system is said to be causal if it satisfies this property of impulse response that is h of n is equal to 0 for n less than 0 and h of t is equal to 0 for t less than 0. Now what is the meaning of this? See say for example h of n is having its amplitude I mean samples to the light of, uh, right of n is equal to 0. It may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Right? So, the samples are present to the right of n is equal to 0. So, there are no samples to the left of n is equal to 0. So, if this condition is satisfied, the system is said to be causal system. So, if there are samples here to the left, say at minus uh, 5, I have a sample, then this is non-causal system. Similar thing will hold good for h of t. So, h of if h of t is... Um, is a waveform, it starts from 0 and goes till infinity, then this is causal. But if you have a waveform to the left, it is non causal. Right? Very simple understanding. H of n is equal to 0 for n less than 0. That means that there should not be any waveform to the left of n is equal to 0, and there should not be waveform to the left here. Now, the third part is a system is said to be stable if the impulse response is absolutely summable h of k is less than infinity and integral h of tau d tau is less than infinity now what is the meaning of this is absolutely summable or absolutely integrable is the impulse response is convergent if impulse response of any system is convergent convergence means it converges to a value which is less than infinity that means it is having a finite value then the system is said to be stable or for a continuous time signal if you integrate the impulse response from minus infinity to plus infinity then it converges 
like we have done it for uh, Fourier transforms, uh, the integral used to converge. So here also, if we if the impulse response integral converges to a value which is less than infinity, then the system is said to be the stable system. Now proof is very pretty simple. And now we have uh, y of t is equal to x of t convolution h of t. Now y of t is integral minus tau minus infinity to infinity tau is equal to x of tau h of t minus tau or if I take uh, the reverse h of t convolution x of t I can write tau is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of tau x of t minus tau. What is this property called? It is commutative property. Now we for stability we say that it is b i b o by bo stability it means bounded input bounded input means what x of t is having a value which is equal to some value b x which is less than infinity so if i take the magnitude of y of t here this is y of t output then x of t is anyway it is bounded right so i can write tau is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of tau magnitude x of t minus tau d tau right so this magnitude is anyway bounded so the condition for the output to be bounded to for a stable system is this that is integral minus infinity to infinity h of tau d tau must be less than infinity for discrete time signal and for continuous time signal k is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of k modulus of h of k is less than infinity here also I will get modulus of h of tau less than infinity modulus so if your impulse response is absolutely summable or impulse response is absolutely integrable then only the system is said to be a stable system so to summarize memory a system is said to be memoryless if h of n is equal to 0 for n less n not equal to 0 that means it should have a value only at n is equal to 0 same is the case in case of this continuous time signal if h of n is equal to 0 for n less than 0 then it is called causal system if h of t is equal to 0 for t less than 0 then it is called causal system uh, so if h of t is having value for t less than 0 or t n less than 0 then it is non-causal and for stability the impulse response should be absolutely summable or it is it should converge to a value which is less than infinity and the impulse response has to be absolutely integrable that means it should converge to a value which is again less than infinity.